Shalom, que pasa, buenos dias, mahaloha, bonjour, ciao, konnichiwa, namaste. Oh man, just always like to do just like about five minutes worth of, you know, just enlightenment, just trying to be a better person. And I, I believe this book, you know, shows you the way. And it's simple uh, truth that a child who doesn't know how to read could understand the words that we speak. But like this book right here was to the saints and the faithful brethren. Again, that was to those who had did Acts 2.44 when they came to believe in Christ. They wanted to build the kingdom on earth and the brothers spoke many other words to him and they gave all their possessions and, and these Colossians, they were all living together in households, okay? And they learned the truth of the gospel because look, it's believed that Christ came, died, rose, you know, and paved the way for us, but he's the first of many because look, all, the, all of us that are really trying to live an enlightened life, as it says right back here in Ephesians, it says our life, it is predestined. You can't run from it. When those blind sheep wake up and they finally hear and they wanna be part of the brethren, you, you, you know. But uh, I, I just like running through this right here because, uh, you know, I, I try to teach the truth of the gospel, which is it's more than just believing in Christ. It's overcoming, uh, you know, the the uh, enemies of God, which is vanity, selfishness, pride, ego, all those things. OK, but, but look, everything is through him. OK, because he did it. We know that we can do it. OK, he is the head of us, the beginning. OK, and it says Stay grounded in what in what these people were learning. The the simple basic truth when they gave up their life and came to Christ. He says, stay grounded in the hope of the gospel. Okay? Which is that Christ rose, died for your sins, and tried to live and you know, lay down your life for your brother. Okay, because he wants a body that is tightly knit together. All right. And I know it's hard, man. It's hard. And you can't do it in the flesh. You have to cry out to the Holy Spirit, okay? Because a lot are going to come to you and cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, okay? According to the principles of the world and not of Christ, the gospel, okay? And here again, let no one defraud you, okay? De taking uh, delight in false Humility, worship of angels, St. Michael, all this, Mother Mary, all those kind of things, okay? Because you're vainly puffed up in your fleshly mind, okay? And that's what he doesn't want us to be. He wants us to be humble, build the kingdom on earth without showing partiality. And that's what it is because look, it says, because, but he who does wrong will be paid for the wrong he has done. And there is no partiality in escaping. But there are certain people that are called to love, okay? That doesn't mean that somebody's not accountable, okay? But he says, once you come to accept Christ, uh, come to accept Christ as king, uh, you, you'll seek things which are above in the world. You're not seeking to do your own life. Paying, you understand? Because look, it says when Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him in his glory. Now, where do you hear about that glory? I, I shared with y'all back before, right here. It says when, when the Son of Man comes, when Revelation 19, 7 happens, it says for the bride, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, for the bride has made herself ready, okay? But look, because look, here's the glory again. When the Son of Man comes in his glory to judge the sheep and the goats, that's the brethren he's talking about. That's who his glory is, the brethren. Right there. It's not the sheep, because they got a certain part of the kingdom that's uh, you know made for them. Okay, and here again, he's telling you the characters of the new man, how to uh, love your brother, bearing with one another. These were the people that had come together and they were they were trying to lay down their life day and night, forgiving one another. Okay, and that's why he says, 
put on love, which is the bond of perfection because we're striving to be Christ-like. So let Christ's teachings rule in your hearts right there, okay? And it says, whatever you do in word or deed, do in the name of, of our king. People ask you about it and say, hey, because our king did it, I did it, all right? And, and that's what we have to do. We have to come back to that, all right? So we can stand perfect and complete in all the will of our Father. And that's what he's looking for. He's looking for that soldiers that, that want to fight to get to the top of the hill, okay? And I'm crying out to, to humanity because it takes people coming together, looking at their own egos, okay? And ask themselves why they can't lay themselves you know, get up on the cross, die to their opinion, all this ego stuff. But no, you got people that'll go join the military in the name of God and kill another man instead of loving their enemies. And they're, they're blind. They're a blind sheep. And, and, but they got a special place prepared for them, as it says right there. Okay. It's part of the kingdom prepared for you, but it's not the city where the brethren will be. Anyway, much love, peace in, fam. Uh, just go out, whoever's out there, uh, just raising a frequency to a enlightened, uh, you know, in the terms of enlightenment to not listen to the flesh anymore and just trying to overcome. And you can't do it on your own. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit and it takes encouragement from our brothers and sisters, one another. So I exalt you to exalt the brethren. Much love, peace in.